Welcome to this setup. It's Arch Linux 1903 for edition for March and um, it's installing on all my PCs. But it sometimes so happens that you have bought a, a particular hardware that's not working for you and you say, hey, I can't boot up Arch Linux and we're discussing about it on um, uh, Discord. So please join us to exchange ideas on that particular application. And you have always an uh, invitation on Arch Linux. Hello, if you open it up and you just do Control F and say Discord, you see here how to install it. And that's the invitation. Now, since we're here anyway, let's have a look at where I want to uh, send you. You can Arch Linux and you can build your own ISO. You don't need to download it from somewhere. You actually build it yourself. And that's this thing. You can choose to build these three guys, Arch Linux and Arch Linux D and Arch Linux B, and even a minimal version of those guys up here. The discussion we'd had was about Arch Linux ISO. So let's do this one. There are enough videos about Arch Linux B, so just Click on the, the link here and follow the tutorial. So no changes to the ISO. We are going to change the applications. So if there is a driver missing, if you can't boot, if something is black when you boot up again, you're missing something. But if you know what you're missing, then it's up to you to just, uh, well, do your thing with it because you can actually change the way the ISO is built more or less, not everything, but you can change it. So I'm going to copy paste this one and I'm going to move that one to the other uh, screen. Let's keep on the desktop, open a terminal here, say git clone me. No, it's already copied. Control shift V. It says git clone the ISO. So cloning the ISO is done like that. You have the ISO and what you need to know, and that's one of the things we're discussing about, what if you installed a driver that we have not installed at this point in time for good reason, but maybe for your system you actually need it. And we're talking about this guy. XF, let's make this bigger. So these are drivers, all kind of drivers. And the video driver is not installed, but you can if you want to. So the one the question is would this person's PC work if we said let's include this guy control save and let's build it again so just one thing and that's the problem with building uh, isos just do one thing otherwise you don't know uh, what's what changed and and if it's the reason why it's working might be other packages just one package build it and test it so we've just added a line and because of the hashtag that's gone it's gonna install now a uh, well, completely different ISO. It's going to make a different ISO that you can install, try and run on your hardware. You type in 30, build the ISO local, and then you need to give your password. It's going to do checks. There are people telling me, hey, do I need uh, Arch Linux for that? Yes, of course, you need Arch Linux to have it. So I'm just hoping that you have another PC then, because if you have just one PC on which you can't boot, well, you're stuck, right? But um, assuming that you have a PC where you have installed Arch Linux because it's not gonna work on, on Manjaro, for instance, and haven't heard about Antirkos, it works on Arch Linux, obviously. But, um, well, you have to wait till this, this finish here, finishes here, and drivers and all that, take a look on the Arch Wiki, so the Arch, Wiki AMD, ArchWiki NVIDIA, ArchWiki Intel. And there is information for sure on it about X11 maybe as well. Uh, it's always a driver issue and drivers are also included in the kernel. More and more stuff is included in kernels and, and less in uh, the driver. But it's a, a tricky business. If, if, if anything, that's the most discussed topic probably on, on the forum. So if you have an issue, that's also a good way and good message to you guys. We do have a forum, so check out how other people have fixed it. And it's just here waiting for you 
just log in or don't log in. I mean, just type in something. I don't know, maybe a NVIDIA card number or something like it. And uh, you'll see how people solved it. This specific GTX 1060, etc. black screen, you see. So things like that, we try to help, but um, we're no magicians or, or gurus of Linux. And um, well, we're gonna try this out. Just trial and error is, is getting you a long way. It takes time, it takes some uh, analysis, some reading, and maybe a YouTube video. But at some point in time, you know exactly what you need on your PC, on your hardware. And of course, I don't have your PC, so I can't try it out. You need to try it out for yourself. Do I need this package A or B? And maybe even A and B conflict with each other, but it doesn't tell you, right? And then you get the black screen or something like it. Let's wait for this um, script to run. And then uh, I'm going to share the ISO with the user on Discord and see if it works. So the building is, is done and we have now an ISO. Where is it? In phase seven, you copy paste it to Artlinux out, which is always gonna be up here. Artlinux out. This is our new ISO. That's the one with the NVIDIA. Well, not the NVIDIA, the nouveau driver on it. The only thing you have to do is type in USB. Let's get myself a USB so you see the whole process. All right, I have a USB, plug in the port. This guy goes in here and this one is my USB, right? And there you go. And I'm about to test it on my uh, Mac laptop, an old one, around eight years old. I believe it's on uh, the website, the video or the article about installing it on that particular hardware. But it's always going to be different on every hardware out there. There's a lot of hardware out there. And every year new uh, hardware comes out. So drivers need to change and, and stuff changes. Some of the drivers go to the kernel, etc. So it will be always a life of change, which is essentially life itself. It always changes. All right, so let's test this out. You know now how to do it. And if there is something you want to try it the same way, you can do so with Arch Linux. You can just build it yourself. All right, have fun.